here it is. So many of you asked me to review the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation that just came out. It says, this is Charlotte's beautiful skin foundation for your best healthy looking skin day every day. Skin looks more radiant up to 285% long lasting pollution defense. The medium coverage light as air foundation is infused with hydrating hyaluronic brightening hyaluronic acid brightening rose complex skin looks more beautiful instantly and over time for healthy looking glow undetectable coverage improves the look of skin with each wear clinically proven results boost hydration 166 percent skin looks plumper and smoother by 181 percent skin tone looks more even up to 210 percent over 90 percent of the user uh, users agree minimizes pores uh, and the appearance of hyper hyper for pigmentation and dark spots and the skin appears instantly brighter okay we're gonna test all of that out in this little booty tube right here and see whether or not that is all the case we're gonna do that right now as I did in my last demo I will have my eyes done everything else is not done we'll do that together and we'll get into the review of this right now all right, let's get started. Two different primers today, the Tatcha and the NYX Marshmallow Primers. Some of my favorite primers. So Tatcha on this side, smoothing, very hydrating feel to Tatcha. And then the other side is going to be the NYX Marshmallow side. And just doing one pump of each of these and just really working these into my large pores. Next is my MAC Skin Refine Zone Treatment. So I'm gonna put it in all of these places where my pores are huge, especially my nose, right in the middle of my forehead. I decided that we're gonna do one side with the regular powder that I do before foundation and then the other side without, just to see if we can see a difference maybe in how the actual foundation performs. So I'm taking, this is the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing powder and i'm just going to take a bit of it and i'm just going to go over this one side again remember when you're doing this technique you only need a little bit of powder you don't need a lot and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation for your best healthy looking skin day every day i ordered it online through for six cool it's super dark it's super duper dark. So I was scrambling last night and went and got this one, which is in three neutral. So I'm, I haven't even pumped this out yet. That doesn't look too bad. That actually looks really okay. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but it does look okay. Okay. First impressions, it is dripping down, which means that it's not a super heavy foundation good for, you know, good for us that it's not super heavy. I'm going to work in one side at a time because I'm going to do a brush on one side, brush application on one side. And then on the other side, I'm going to do a sponge application. I'm using that little mini BK Beauty 101 brush. I love this thing. This goes in her little travel pack that she released not too long ago. I love it. And I'm going to spray it with Max Fix Plus. If you're wondering why I do that, I do that because it just seems to give me a better finish on my face. It, I do it on my sponge. I do it on my brushes. It just smooths everything out. It's a primer water. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. I just like the way that looks. And I'm reaching over here to get a mirror <laughs> that I can use. I want to try and get you guys as close as I can so you can see application. Brush application is almost always heavier than sponge application because the sponge will pick some of it up. So please keep that in mind as we're doing this and working through it. Okay, one coat brush application. It's pretty. It is a medium coverage. It doesn't feel like it's super dewy. I thought it was gonna be super duper dewy like the Tarte Cloud one that just came out, but it's not. It feels very much like the Estee Lauder Futurist, a little bit like the It CC Cream. I like it. It's actually covering really fairly well. I am gonna go ahead and put another coat on just to see how it does and if it gives more full coverage. So I'm gonna do another couple of dots around here with the, the foundation brush 
and then we'll go over onto the other side. I'm going down my neck in my decollete like we talked about in my last tutorial and just, just bouncing this brush all over, stippling this brush all over so that I can check out the coverage here. Okay, second coat, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It feels like silk going on. It feels skin-like, it feels hydrating. It feels a little bit dewy, but not like uber hydrating, uber dewy. Um, it almost, it just looks good. <laughs> it just looks really good. Keep in mind, you guys, I have never liked a Charlotte Tilbury foundation before, ever. I didn't have high hopes for this because I have steered clear of them because none of them worked for me. The Magic one, the Airbrush one, I didn't like them at all. They were really quite a mess for me. So this is surprising my pants off. And then I do have a sponge that I'm using. This is a dampened sponge that's been wrung out in a towel. I'm gonna give it a good spray with my Max Fix Plus again. And then I'm gonna spread this across this side. We will see how this side goes with the sponge if I like it as well. Sponge has been my preferred way lately of putting all of my foundations on because I just find that I don't know, on, on aging skin, it just seems to kind of blur it out a little bit. I don't know. It's just really boils down to what your preference is. Both of them, I think, are pretty. I personally, and you'll see this in a second, I will go over this side with the sponge just to make sure everything's worked in anyway. But let's see what this does with just one coat and the beauty sponge. One coat, beauty sponge. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so all I need... Is a little bit right here everywhere else it covered everything completely with the sponge so i'm not worried about everywhere else so just right in through here where i have a lot of discoloration i'm going in with just a little bit extra so the sponge almost worked better for me i am looking at this and i am thinking this is pretty this is really pretty now i'm going to go over this side that has the foundation with the brush and I am just going to lightly pat over everything just to make sure everything is pushed into the skin. And I can tell you right now that this, as I'm looking at it, my pores through here, my discoloration, all of the uneven tone, there's no texture. I don't feel it settling. It feels dewy, hydrating without being oily or greasy. I'm liking this a lot. And you know, when I did the cloud one, the Tarte cloud one, I liked it too, but I didn't like it like when I very first put it on. I kind of had to baby it and work with it a little bit. So I'm like, this is pretty. This is really, really pretty. And I'm really, I'm really liking it. Down here on my neck and my decollete, it's gorgeous. It just covered all of that discoloration just in like two seconds and I didn't have to put another coat down there. And as I'm moving it around and bouncing it around, it's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna move on very quickly to the Charlotte Tilbury. Again, this is not my favorite uh, color corrector, but I am trying to use it up. So I am going to color correct right here around my eyes just a little bit. All right, the color corrector's done. I've been using my Kosas so much that I thought I would try something different for, for you guys. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. And I'm gonna put a dot of it, if I can get a dot of it, right out here on the outer edge right there. And I'm gonna just work it almost to the inner corner. I love this, I think it's gorgeous. I could probably use just a shade darker of this. Now, I'm gonna take the lightest color I have in the Kosas, which I think is 0.05. I'm gonna put one dot right here on the inner corner. And I'm gonna work that in for extra brightness right there on that inner corner. So I'm gonna do a tutorial on this right away because I talk about it every time, but I don't talk about it in depth enough about this routine and how easy it is and how much better your eyes do look when you do this routine. For now, I'm gonna take my Sephora Second Chance, which is the powder that I've talked about forever to do contour. It's a very muddy looking powder. And I'm just gonna do some contour up in my hairline to bring that hairline down. 
and then I'm going to do a little bit of contour across my cheeks and then I'll do across my jawline. If you're wondering what this fan brush is, I will make sure I link it for you. It was one of those ones that got put into the yearly favorites of you guys that you guys purchased the most throughout the year. Let's try the Charlotte Tilbury. I never work with this one. This is one of her products I do like, but this is the Film Star Bronze and Glow and it's the lighter version. So I'm going to go across here. I do know that this is a little bit warmer. That's why I don't work with it as a contour. So I'm going to just see if I can warm up my face a little bit with this. I picked out the CoverGirl True Blend Black 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 Take two. I picked out the CoverGirl True Blend Br Blush. That is okay. Uh, Love Me is the color of it. I'm going to choose that same stipple brush that I just used for the bronzer. Tap that off into my hand a little bit so I don't get too much. And I'm just going to have that just pink up my cheeks just a bit. And you know what I forgot? And I can't believe I forgot it. I forgot to put my highlighter on before. I always do my highlighter before. I'm falling down on the job today. All right, Little Miss Highlighter in Flower Beauties Trio. Love them, love them, love them. Go across all three of them and pick up some highlighter. And they are absolutely gorgeous. They're so pretty. You know, you guys, I'm in love with this foundation. Everything that I'm throwing at it, everything that I'm putting at it is making it just look better and better. I like it. I like it a whole bunch. I'm surprised that there's no settling. Usually when I get a hydrating foundation, I get a little bit of settling right here, but there's no settling at all. I'm I'm liking it a lot. All right, to finish up the eyeballs, if you're wondering what I have on them, it is the Natasha Den Denona Retro Palette. To finish them up, I'm going to contour with this color over here, which is called Made Mauve. And I'm just going to, I don't know what kind of brush this is, Refer 28. I'm going to tap that off and I'm just going to do a very light dusting underneath my eyes to meet the outer corner and contour the bottom of there to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. I'm going to take the same powder that I was using from e.l.f. and the sponge again and I'm going to um, put my sponge down into there, get some powder on there, flip it off if you don't want, don't want as much as you have on there and just kind of set down this little area right here, a little bit across the forehead where there's a little bit of shine. I'm gonna take a little bit extra and I am going to pat it across here, across, everybody hates when I say across, it's that Midwestern accent. Anyway, and I'm going to make sure that I set this down because this is where my makeup wears off the first and I have all of my dark spots over there. So that really helps to hide those. Gonna put a little bit of bottom lashes on. Okay, I feel like I got away from you and then I was forward and I'm all over the place. I am using the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner. This one is in Rosewood. I'm gonna line my lips and then I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about something. In my last video that I did a wear test on a foundation, I did my lips like this and then I just put some lip gloss on and somebody was saying, please show us how you mix your lip gloss with that lip liner without it looking bad. Okay, first of all, I just start to uh, pat my lips together and that's going to soften the outside of that. You might have to take your finger and just kind of blend a little bit. I do that on my cupid's bow so that doesn't look so stark. Pat that a couple more times and then just apply your lip gloss. It's easy peasy. Once you apply your lip gloss, pat those together a few more times. Press them together a few more times. Take your finger and wipe away anything excess you think there shouldn't be. You should have a gorgeous look at that point. If you need to put a little bit more on, you can put it right in the middle. Press it again. Okay, for setting spray, I decided that I wasn't gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury in this one. I'm going to use the Pore Profession, the Pore Professional Super Setter from Benefit. If you haven't tried this one, this one has little powder particles in it that help to set your makeup. So no alcohol, just those powder particles. My sponges get such a workout because I use them for everything. So now I'm just going to lightly press this over everything, absolutely everything, because it does have that powder in it. It's going to really blur out everything and it's really a pretty spray. And again, I think this might be one that was really overlooked and kind of lived in the shadow of the Charlotte Tilbury one. I, yeah, I like both of them. I like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I like this one too a lot. I think it's beautiful. 
Okay, friends, final look. I am in love with this foundation. Keep in mind, this is my very first impression of it, but it put it went across my skin so pretty. I can link my shirt today. It's a really pretty shirt. I'll try to put a, a picture of it on the screen for you guys. It's really pretty. And I can link the earrings too. They're just a crystal with a spiral. I think they're very pretty too. I hope that you did enjoy this. Now, I did have somebody ask me, why in the world can't you do a check-in later on? Here's the thing. I do have a disability. I have actually a few disabilities. I have something called POTS and POTS is a big long name for something that's wrong with my heart that my autonomic nervous system makes my heart race when I stand up and I can pass out very easily. So when I am able to do all of my filming, I will do batch filming where I will do two or three videos in a row for you guys. So I do that and then I go to bed for the rest of the day. And usually I just don't feel good enough. So what I do is I try really hard to put a complete paragraph of what I wore and what how I feel, feel about it. Now I'm going to tell you right now that the way that I feel about this right now is no texture, no settling, beautiful application two applications was completely full coverage one application was a medium cover application was medium coverage it does still feel a little bit dewy like i didn't really set it down my neck right down here so if you don't like a dewy glowy foundation you probably will have to use a little bit extra powder just on the areas where you know like i sweat on my neck does anybody else sweat on their neck I do. Anyway, I also really love the way that it went on with both primers. So I think that both primers are going to be really good for it. I don't think there's going to be a differentiation there. So I'm going to get really close so you guys can see. It just, it just looks gorgeous on both sides. You can still see a little bit of my skin through, but it just evened it out beautifully. It feels very light. Like I said, it does feel dewy. If you're an oily skin gal, you might have to skip this one because I don't think that this is going to be one that's going to really um, settle down into something that is matte at all. You're going to look a little bit dewy, a little bit satiny all day long. I like this glow that it's giving right now. I really, really like it a lot. But yeah, I'm kind of in love right at this second. That may later on change but right now i think it looks gorgeous on my mature skin so i hope that you did enjoy it have you picked it up are you liking it tell us that already are you thinking about picking it up and what do you think about all the application that we did today let me know all of that in the comment section i would love to hear from all of you thanks so much for being a part of my youtube channel and giving me so much support and love all the time you have no idea how much that means to me I'm going to say goodbye for now, but we will meet right back here in my very next video. And I can't wait to see you again. Love you much. Bye-bye.